Hi guys. I'm so crazy. How are you? Welcome to the behind the scenes of my Inktober challenge. So, for today's video, I have the behind the scenes of Inktober. If you don't know what Inktober is, or who am I? Hi, my name is Fran. I am an illustrator currently living in London. Inktober is a drawing challenge where you have to draw each and every single day of October one illustration made of an ink. It's very simple. So by the end of October, you will have something like 31 illustrations, ink illustrations. I just wanted to remind you, I just wanted to throw this news out there that I'm just going to do 21 illustrations because on the 22nd, 22nd, I say that right? Yeah. On the 22nd of October, Ed is going to arrive. Yeah, I know. Who is Ed? Ed is my husband. Um, we have been apart for two months now, so I am basically dying here. Um, and since I just want to be with him and seize the moment with him because he's my husband and I love him very, very much, I decided only to do 21 illustrations. So here we go, guys. This is the behind the scenes. Usually when you approach a challenge, Inktober or a 30-day type of uh, drawing challenge, I highly suggest that you have a theme going on or uh, something that could help you potentially to approach the challenge in a more easy way. I know that when you are starting doing something in a very long-term period, uh, like drawing for the 30 days or drawing for two months each and every single day, it sounds very easy, but when you're at day 13, you're like, what the F I'm going to draw right now? So I highly suggest that you follow something like Sketch Dailies on Twitter, or you do something like the 30 day drawing challenge. So you're not going to expose yourself to a Inktober, for example, challenge fully naked. I mean, you can do it fully naked, but creative wise, you're not going to be fully naked. For this challenge, I try to approach it in a very amazing way, um, at least for me, which is the fairy tales. I'm really obsessed with fairy tales. So as soon as the day starts, I make myself a huge cup of coffee because I love coffee and I have an addiction. And I go to the interwebs and I do some research on fairy tales. When I have chose the fairy tale that I wanted to do particular for that day, I will sit down and start sketching. For this day in particular, I'm doing the wild magic geese or the magic wild geese, which is an amazing fairy tale of a protagonist who is trying to rescue her little brother from the evil hands of a terrible and cannibal witch. Once you are doing something like Inktober, you will realize all your flaws. And it's, it's a, Inktober is a perfect reminder of all the things you're doing wrong all over again. And since it's, it's something that you have to do it every, each and every single day, you will have to come to with solutions. So I usually do my characters and my um, female protagonists always in the same position. They're standing in a very boring and dull position. Usually I don't mind, but since I'm doing Inktober, I wanted to take this a couple of steps further. So I realized I wanted to do this female protagonist running away from this evil witch, but actually running and having a very, very scared face. So the sketching that I, you're watching right now is that me trying to look for new positions or new compositions in the image, and that's that. I highly suggest that you take Inktober or any drawing challenge as an opportunity to push yourself out of your boundaries, out of your comfort zone, because if it's now, then when? This is the time when I draw all the things that I wanted to incorporate to the final illustration. I can erase as many times as I want. I can change the hands, the legs position, everything. And it's amazing because if I do a mistake, I can easily change it. So once I am done with that sketch, I will put a piece of tape on it and I put it on my window. Usually the very professional illustrators use a light table. I think that's the name of that device, which I would love to have, guys, if you ask me. But since I don't have it yet, um, I just use a regular window with light and uh, I am just retracing the final sketch on a watercolor paper. You have already seen this watercolor paper before if you're not 
are new to my channel if you are new to my channel hello this is a very simple step guys i don't know what i'm talking this much in this step but it's it, it's just me tracing the illustration over and it's amazing because the sketch will turn out in a very simple and clean way because since i did all the correction and smudges and everything on the thin paper um, the final sketch will turn out on my, on the watercolor paper very nice and soft and nicely. So, and if you're seeing me right now laughing, that's because I am listening to the Gilmore Guys podcast, which I'm totally obsessed with. It's amazing. Once the sketch uh, period is over, we can start my favorite part, which is the painting part. A lot of you guys have asked me a lot on Instagram, Hey Fran, if this is October, why are you using watercolors? This is a horrible personification of you guys, I'm sorry. You don't talk like that, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. And it is guys, because October is the time of the year when we can perfect our inking process, our inking uh, passion. The only rule of Inktober, besides having fun, is to use ink. Um, there's not such rule of not using watercolors or all of other painting devices. And since I wanted to push myself and try to practice my not only inking techniques but my watercolor techniques, I wanted to have a very depurate, no, how is the word? I wanted to come up with a very nice final original illustration. This is because all the illustrations that you are seeing right now on my Inktober challenge are going to be for sale. Woohoo! Since I don't want to sell my illustration just with the outlines, I wanted to go a couple of steps further and just painting the whole thing so it will look very nice and neat and someone on the street or on my Etsy shop will look at that illustration and will say holy shit I need that illustration in my life I will buy it but yeah I just wanted to make the illustration looks look nicer that's it but there's not such rule in Inktober that you can't use watercolors or whatever so don't worry if you want to use ink and other painting technique devices don't worry because you can do it that's okay that's totally okay um, I approve it Right now, you're watching, you're watching me painting with watercolors. And while I am painting with watercolors, I will tell you more about why I am, I am doing so many fairy tales. And the truth is, guys, I love Disney. I love Disney princesses and I love all the wonderful things that Disney had created so far. But um, I am tired of seeing so many reboots and so many new versions of the Disney princesses that already exist. I love Ariel, I love the Beauty and the Beast, and I love all the new princesses that are coming right now. And they're so like strong female characters and they fight for what they want. And I love Frozen and I love though the, I love them all I have I want to have them all I am like Pokemon but with Disney princesses but I think that r right now internet is full of new versions of the princess businesses that already exist and even though that's amazing and I want to see Disney princesses in the shape of a vegetable of or new Disney princesses in shape of every single thing that you have already seen so far um, I wanted to see more. I wanted to see more uh, princesses on fairy tales or not even princesses, like just even female characters on fairy tales because I think fairy tales are such an amazing thing. I wanted to search and see if there's more amazing female characters in other fairy tales be besides the Disney princesses. And that's why I'm doing this challenge. This challenge is not only for myself in terms of illustration wise or improving my inking and watercolor techniques, but to see for my own eyes, like to see if there's more out there in terms of princesses and female power for female characters. So that's why I am doing so many research and that's why I'm not doing Disney princesses because there's already a lot of Disney princesses versions out there made of our amazing and talented illustrators but I'm just going to do this for my own. So right now you're uh, watching my inking process. I am using my favorite red ink, which is the, I can't pronounce it right now, 
because I don't have the bottle ink with me but I will leave the name right here and that's it guys um, I hope you enjoy this behind the scenes it was really fun to film and to show you all the process behind my illustrations don't forget that all the originals and all the illustrations are going to be for sale oh yeah baby oh yeah Oh yeah, they're going to be for sale, for sale. If you have any further questions uh, about this challenge in particular or any other thing about illustration, please ask me. It's okay, you can ask me. And I think that's it. I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for the people that are reminding me how many days until Ed comes. Um, I think that's amazing that a lot of people is doing the countdown which is awesome. I am so looking forward to Ed arrives. Oh, and thank you, by the way, to all the people that say hello to me for my birthday. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. So yeah, I love, I love talking to you guys. Oh my God, I'm so emotional. But yeah, you know how I am. I hope you're having an amazing day and a wonderful week. Be strong for the Intour channel. You can do it. You can do it. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. Ugly faces are art.